गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ लेप्रेसी टॉपिक इज नेशनल लेप्रेसी इरेडिकेशन प्रोग्राम एन एल एपी सो आफ्टर इंडिपेन्डेंस इनिशियली फोकस वॉज गिवन ऑन मलेरिया कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम एंड फैमिली प्लानिंग प्रोग्राम एंड द थर्ड प्रोग्राम वॉज रिलेटेड टू लेप्रेसी इट वॉज नेशनल लेप्रेसी कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम which was started in 1955 with the aim of early detection of leprosy cases and uh, treatment with dapsol monotherapy but uh, it was not given much importance and after uh, around 30 years analysis was done by high level expert committee and they give report uh, after 1980 so in 1983 the newer program called national leprosy eradication program was launched with the advent of multi drug treatment in 1983 mdt was also introduced in gujarat in uh, selected districts and by 1991 all the gujarat was covered and to strengthen this national leprosy eradication program world bank supported two projects were carried out in india one was in 1993 and second was in 2001 and afterwards the program has been integrated with the general health care system in 2002 2003 since then leprosy diagnosis and treatment services are available at all phcs and other government hospital like chc sub district hospital district level hospital tertiary care hospital the goal of program is to reduce the prevalence rate of leprosy less than 1 per 10000 population by 2005 So after the introduction of MDT multi drug therapy elimination that is less than one case per 10000 population was achieved at national level by December 2005 please remember here elimination doesn't mean zero leprosy case as per the guideline it is less than one case per 10000 population and it will indicate elimination now the targets of the program which were to be achieved by march 2017 so first target was prevalence rate to be achieved less than 1 per 10000 population in all 642 districts means all over the india second and important target was annual new case detection rate less than 10 per 1 lakh population in all the districts third was cure rate in case of mb multibacillary cases that is to be achieved more than 95% next is cure rate in pb possibility cases that is to be achieved by more than 97% another important target is grade 2 disability rate in percentage of new cases so that is to be less than 2 around 1.98 percentage and stigma reduction 50% reduction taking 2011 12 as a base year components of the nlp so first is decentralized integrated leprosy services through general healthcare system so like uh, district tuberculosis center district leprosy centers were uh, initiated at district level with dedicated leprosy related staff and also the leprosy component is integrated in general healthcare system like phc chcs and other health facilities second component was capacity building of all these general healthcare service functionaries so it includes provision of uh, diagnostic materials manpower training provision of the multi drug therapy medicines so which was leading to improvement in new case detection as well as cure rate third was intensified information education and communication this is as much important as there is still stigma and discrimination in the community regarding the leprosy next was prevention of disability and medical rehabilitation so for that early identification of disability was given priority and those having the disability reconstructive surgeries were being carried out in different institute and the last was intensified monitoring and supervision to check whether the program is running adequately or not so major initiatives of the nlp first is more focus has now been given to new case detection and prevalence means incidence so incidence of leprosy is 
important indicator than prevalence. Next is treatment completion rate to be calculated by the states at yearly basis. Third important thing given more emphasis nowadays is disability prevention and medical rehabilitation services. So for that dressing materials, supportive medicines and artificial feeds are provided at the periphery level. Next microcellular rubber footwear is provided for protection of insensitive food. To the leprosy patients. 41 NGOs and 42 government medical colleges all over the India have been strengthened for providing reconstructive surgeries to leprosy patients and an amount of rupees 5000 is provided as an incentive to each leprosy affected person from BPL family undergoing reconstructive surgery. Also government is providing support to the institute in the form of rupees 5000 per reconstructive surgery conducted. For early detection of new cases and prevention of disability, role of ASA is very much critical in rural area. So for that ASAs are being rewarded with incentives. So for a confirmed diagnosed case, they are given rupees 100 per case and for completion of full course of treatment, for possibility cases, rupees 200 is given, and for multibacillary cases, rupees 400 is given. Next is there are 612 self settled colonies in the country where more than 50,000 leprosy affected persons reside. Free medical facilities like care of ulcer, self care training, counseling, and microcellular footwear are being provided. And most important is intensive IAC campaign with theme towards leprosy free India. The main topics in IAC is that, that leprosy is curable, it is preventable, a person can live a healthy life with the family and society after the treatment. So we have to give much focus still on reduction of stigma and discrimination. Now referral system in NLAP had various levels. So first of all at the subcenter level. So what activities can be done at subcenter level? So in case in implementation, self-care advice can be given by the subcenter staff, then advice to reconstructive surgery in some specific individual who are requiring these surgeries and monitoring whether they are taking regular medicines, whether they are going for regular follow-up and from subcenter patients can be referred to higher center for any lepra reaction or for any disability management. Activities at PHC level, implementation at PHC level. So we can treat the patient at PHC level. Second, we can manage some reaction at the PHC level and if required we can refer to the higher level if not manageable at PHC level. Identify or refer patient needing reconstructive surgeries from PHC to the a special institute identify patients needing footwear to the district level where this microcellular shoes can be provided advice for reconstructive surgery cases and advice to the self care in case of referral so lepra reaction difficult to manage complicated ulcer which cannot be managed at phc level eye problem Reconstructive surgery cases, person needing footwear, follow up of reconstructive cases, and lepra reaction. For all these things, we have to refer the patient to high level. Now, at the district level hospital, so implementation, management of complicated ulcer can be done at district level facility. Management of lepra reaction is also done at district level facility. And in referral, refer difficult cases difficult ulcer to reconstructive surgery centers. At reconstructive surgery center, reconstructive surgeries are being done, follow-up after reconstructive surgery is done and supply of footwear to the district authorities. Now there is a special program implementation plan for the 12th plan period which was from 2012-13 to 2016-17. Objectives of this plan was elimination of leprosy in all districts of the countries. Still leprosy is not eliminated in some of the districts of country. 
second objective was strength and disability prevention and medical rehabilitation of person affected by this leprosy third is reduction in the level of stigma associated with leprosy so program strategy was integrated leprosy service through general healthcare system especially in this high endemic district second was early detection and complete treatment of new leprosy cases we can use asa for this third was carrying out household contact survey for early detection of cases in and especially in endemic districts next is involvement of asa in the detection and completion of treatment of leprosy cases on time and providing them with incentive strengthening of disability prevention and medical rehabilitation services so for that we can improve this reconstructive surgery institute next is i see in the community to improve self reporting and reduction of stigma and discrimination related to the leprosy and last one is intensive monitoring and supervision now some special services in urban area so first of all why special services are required in urban area so the health services in urban areas differ from the rural area because there are non availability of infrastructure like phc is in rural area and also there is a difference in manpower compared to phc second thing is the services in urban areas are provided mainly through institutional level not the peripheral level health center third is multiple organization provide health services in urban localities without much of coordination among them there are government hospitals ngos hospital trust hospital private hospital all of these are providing services but there is a lack of coordination among themselves more number of cases are detected in urban localities due to migration of people from the out state out districts then availability of good quality institutes also leads to improvement in detection with ease of accessibility but treatment completion rate is less as compared to the rural area because there is a lack of follow up and monitoring by asas in our urban area so additional activities in urban areas to be carried out are identify human resources available with the government civil societies ngos private medical practitioner for leprosy services and build capacity of this identify human resources at the time of induction and periodically so we can have induction training and refresher training of this human main power next is examination of all household contacts of all new cases at least once before the completion of treatment of index case then identify for referral center in, in each urban location for diagnosis and to manage leprosy with or without complication mobile health clinics are there in urban areas so we can use them also for leprosy so mobile health clinics of general health service include leprosy service on their visits to specially the slums and peri urban areas and from this mobile health clinic also we can diagnose and provide medicine to leprosy patient develop a system of regular mdt supply to each health center and next is organize sensitization meeting for ic and advocacy participates in exhibition quiz competition for awareness to reduce stigma and discrimination related to leprosy in urban areas now some of the activities being carried out in the gujarat state so there was a special activity plan in which house to house visit by search team of asa general healthcare staff for suspected case was done confirmation of suspects by team of medical officer of phc and district team was done and intensive ic activity prior to the house visit was done to sensitize the community second important campaign was leprosy case detection campaign lcdc so to detect hidden cases by team of asa and male local volunteer in every village of high endemic districts of gujarat lcdc was carried out next is special routine survey in dance district where leprosy cases are more so to detect hidden cases by team of asa and general healthcare staff and special survey was carried out during 5th to 
21st September 2018. In hard to reach area also one special survey was done. Activity was carried out in January 2019 and population covered under hard to reach area survey during this activity. One program was for leprosy awareness campaign. All of you are very much aware that 30th January is celebrated as Anti-Leprosy Day every year wherein nationwide message on leprosy awareness is spread through print and other media. From now onwards this day is envisaged to be celebrated as first leprosy awareness campaign wherein nationwide gram sabhas organized in cooperation and coordination with allied sectors of health department and other ministries and especially rural community are to be informed regarding leprosy and there are at present three recognized reconstructive surgery centers in Gujarat one is at civil hospital Ahmedabad second SSG hospital Vadodara and third is new civil hospital Surat monitoring and evaluation of NLP program simplified information system is used in which monthly and annual reports are prepared and for this SIS guidelines we can use treatment card treatment register drugstore register reporting form and performance assessment form and important indicator for monitoring of NLEP programs are prevalence rate and the most important one is new case detection rate it is the main indicator of the program third is treatment completion rate how many person have completed the treatment disability proportion then percentage of new cases with grade 1 and grade 2 disability multibacillary case proportion and child proportion so these are the few important indicators of NLAP program now involvement of panchayat, NGOs and other international agencies for the control of leprosy so there is a strong support of ILEP that is International Federation of Anti-Leprosy Association World Health Organization and other international agencies like Danida, Danish International Development Agency, World Bank, Netherlands Leprosy Relief and Lepra India. Few NGOs are involved in conducting reconstructive surgeries and government is giving rupees 2500 per surgery and rupees 164 pair of microcellular rubber chapels. Private medical practitioners and various government ministries departments such as information on broadcasting, social justice and empowerment, education, railways, defense, labor and industries are also working towards the eradication of program. So they are giving some special incentive to the leprosy patients, some special benefits to the leprosy patient. Thank you.